All right, hey, good morning, guys. We're at a home here up in Kernsville, North Carolina, just around Union Cross. I think it's Church, Union Cross Church Road up here, right off of 40 anyway. But what we're dealing with is we got a window leak going on. And let's get up here on this ladder. Right up in here, you can see some discoloration. Uh, I'll clear that up for you. Some discoloration here and also some paint chipping along here notice that it's only isolated to that spot so my initial thought is that it's uh, only intruding over here and you can see where there's some deposits from the water leaking as well on the inside of that trim so my initial thoughts are uh, that the water is getting behind these panels somehow and we're going to figure that out as soon as we get in here and start looking at things um, earlier the homeowner had somebody come by and put a bead of caulk around the window up here where the siding is here and also it looks like there is a bead put along this edge as well and they said it worked out for a little bit um, but it started leaking again so we're going to get in there uh, see what's going on fix the problem and get everything taken care of all right so we're taking this thing off right here and I took his top panel off saw some gray area right there and that's just stuff i can stick my finger through you know, this is a healthy OSB, and that's the bad stuff over here. <clears throat> we can already see there's damage. And right here is the location that we were talking about the leak earlier now. I want to pull this thing off. Look at that. Healthy. And got to figure out what else is going on back here. It's not looking good. All right, so here's something else. So we we pulled this off right here. And this is hanging down. We can see it's got some bad stuff back in there that we'll have to remediate. But take a look at this. Um, this flat, this is called flashing right here that goes above the top of the window. So whenever water hits it, it'll drip off. The thing about it is this metal flashing is supposed to be behind this. So the normal practice is you'll make you a cut over here about this high off of the off the window itself from this black paper and cut that all the way across here. And in the end, you'd flip that thing up, tuck this metal piece up underneath of it, so when the water gets on the paper, it flows on top of the metal uh, brake right there on the metal flashing. And in turn, you know, the water will drip off away from the window because it has that little lip to it right there. But uh, here's one more thing I want to show you before I get back into this thing is you can, I can feel like that wood is at least somewhat good to go i'll have to get back in there and see it but it kind of sounds like this right here so that's good i mean it's healthy as i start working my way up now i'm starting to push in on the wall there i don't know if you can see that deflection but then that leads right up into here and you can see where um, it's bad juju but i just want to share that with you guys before we uh get on further into this so we can see share it with you guys so we can see uh, what we're looking at and kind of understanding the anatomy of things and as we go to pull off the right things and be able to identify uh, where it's coming from all right next update so there's holes in the ground or where the termite guys are coming around drilling holes so they ain't got nothing to do with what we're looking at here but you can update where we're at I started just taking off up to here with the siding but I figured out real fast that's not going to work because if you can't see already, these aren't flashed over here. These flanges, these are nailing flanges to the window. It's what the window seals to the wall with, or fixes to the wall with, rather. And so my fear right now is that we're going to tear that window out. And I'm pretty sure we're going to do that because down here, that wood is super soft as well. And, uh, it's just penetrated all the way down the walls. It's not looking good. Something else I want to show you right here too. Notice how this piece is coming off the window and it drapes over this other piece. That's great. And when you come down here, this piece is just open to whatever drips down in here. And so uh, essentially that acts as a funnel for water to get behind there and do whatever it wants to. Now it seems to me at the leak as of right now is coming from 
uh, up in there where that soffit is. I'm not exactly sure how yet, but when I looked up in there where the uh, I pulled the soffit away a little bit, everything looked clean back there. Everything looked good, healthy, nice strong wood. Uh, but when it comes to out here, just this whole the whole sheathing is gone. So let's hope that's the only thing that's gone, and hopefully we don't have to do anything with framing or uh, insulation or anything beyond that. Um, not that it'll be difficult, but it'll just be something extra to do. But <clears throat> giving you a little update, I'll keep you updated. Okay. So I've got everything pulled off, and I've not opened this thing up yet, but I'm going to find out what's behind this thing right here. Good thing termite guys are here. Damn, I'm gonna have to tell them about this. Oh my gosh. Hey, Ian. Yes, sir. Can you come here and look this with me, buddy? Uh, and, and termites are all the way up in here. You got it right up in there, right along in here. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we can do about it now? Um, so let me get a picture of that. I'm gonna send that to you. Richard. Hey, my name's Richard. Hey! hey. <laughs> now, I, I think um, on the graph, they did note, note, some like termite evidence. Yeah, let me uh, let me open this thing up for you some more. Then. Sweet. Just so you can get the best view possible. Yeah, and get a picture of it. Um, the only thing that you you'd have to do right here would be borate treatment. But what we're doing is, I mean, they always they go back down into the soil. They don't ever live in the house. Oh, is that right? So, yeah. So that's what we're doing is basically. Treating the soil underneath the pad. Gotcha. But, uh, in the main sense, since you're taking this off, you may actually have to do something about it. <clears throat> I don't really know how contract goes. Oh, you know why they're in here? It's because of all the moisture. Mm. Let me be honest. Alright. Oh, Alright. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to send this to my boss. Let's see what we need. Okay, so you're saying there's really nothing other than replacing this right here that we can do to deter yeah. them right now? Yeah, what we're doing is what we would do. So, anyway, <laughs> yeah. except for we, we may trench along this wall here because mm -hmm. we have to do six feet past any visible evidence. Yeah. And they may, there may not, they have the option rather to drill this corner. I don't know how the veneer is though. I'd have to go underneath and look at it. But. Like I said, we've been sitting here to do a job, so this is different. This is, I gotta tell them, basically. So, yep. Yeah, thank All you for right. that. <laughs> no problem. Gum earthworm back up in there. Where is he? You see him? Right there. There's a little earthworm. Oh man. Okay, so what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna talk, go talk to uh, David about this, the homeowner, and Ginger to see uh, where they want to go next. 
and uh, <coughs> since it's right behind that porch post right there, let me show you what I'm talking about. So that rock, back up soon. Okay, so there's that rot that's right there, and there's that porch post. Uh, this this screen porch was added on recently. I'm gonna get their permission to maybe take a couple of those panels off over there to see what the extent of it is. But you heard uh, Ian over here uh, with Pestex. He said this uh, them termites are getting in there because of the because uh, the moisture. There you go. But, that paper goes all the way back up in there. We'll see. We'll see what we come across. All right, so we got this stuff off right here. We've cut up the side. All of this looks healthy. Come down through here. It's just like mainly this area and up through there, all the way up and up around that area. Something else I was wanting to show you. Where they at? They all left. There we are. See moving around in there. All the little bee termites. That's what Nolan's for here, right? Yeah. Yeah. What are you working on, Nolan? Vents. Vents. It helps the moisture control inside the crawl space. These are temp vents. Mm-hmm. Why is moisture control important? It saves the wood and uh, termites won't want to come up, isn't it? Good deal. Do you like termites, Nolan? Kind of. Gives me a job. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. All right. It's the end of the day today, guys. I'm going to show you what I got. So what took the most effort this afternoon was getting this whole window uh, undone on the nail flanges on the outside. And also we were messing up in here, uh, taking off those nails as well. So when we come back in tomorrow, see this whole piece of plywood... You see right there all that's bad like that's just a bunch of goo i'll show you that in a minute all this plywood's got to go it's got to come out and my idea is to slide it out this way so we're going to take we're going to move this window unit tomorrow um come back in here sever the connections on the plywood and slide it out slide a new piece back in it that'll fit underneath this window over here uh it might be a little hard to follow but you can see all that bad stuff right there and I pulled off that piece of soffit right there and inside is is some leaking Let's see if you see that gutter up there okay you see that gutter right where is that right there so right behind that gutter is some support there's some structure in there and what's happened is can't really see it but what's happening is there's a piece on the roof that leads down into the gutter and where that meets the roof there's no sealant or caulk there or anything so over time what has happened is uh in my opinion water has hit the rooftop and kind of found its way seeped back into that little opening there and i believe that has gotten into this soffit here traveled over that way and made a mess of things over here now what's really puzzling me is where all that came from I don't, i'm not sure because it's higher than this uh, and i've looked before what it might be is water is coming in on the gutter or overflowing of the gutter and sliding down the soffit onto the board again we could speculate uh, but with this kind of invasive inspection it's very important to make sure that you got all your bases covered with this kind of stuff because if you don't this could be a potential issue in the future and we don't want that i want to make sure that we get everything covered uh, as well as possible and there's one one other thing i want to show you here is on this uh, barrier that they decided to use when they were doing the house it's not like like a tyvek wrap or a house wrap you can see that this is Something that might be used for uh, if you're working with a sledgehammer or en encapsulating. Um, some people might refer to them as like a drop cloth, but it's a it's a poly polyeth polyethylene plastic sheeting. That's probably like a like a three or four mil right there, and it doesn't allow anything to breathe. Now the house wrap has what's it called? 
permeations in it to where the house can breathe and also wick moisture at the same time so it lessens the it lessens the probability of mold mildew to build up behind that kind of sheeting which in turn invites pests such as ants termites you name it bacteria and lastly let me show you this i'm gonna get something to poke at it with because this thing is it's like jelly it's like jello here but let's see if you can see if you can see it I'll zoom in not zoom in but there you go focus on it but you see it just flaking off right there so this stuff has been drying for a little bit but when I first tore in here this stuff was wet and I mean it's still wet but you can't even see the plywood through that that's that is just not good that's just a mess of it building up behind this paper here behind that plastic that doesn't allow anything to breathe that's why it's so that's why it's so 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 important to make sure that you put the right things on to get things right done right the first time so you don't run into this so tomorrow we're going to take the window out remove the plywood put some more plywood back you know let everything dry in the, uh, in the meantime and then hopefully it'll be a done deal but uh it's pretty extensive repair having having to be done here but we're on top of it we're getting her done and uh getting it done the right way I'll update you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed night. You safe and okay? I'm safe and okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. Good morning, guys. Back at it on day two here. Just got the window pulled out. I pulled the nails out of the nail fins yesterday <clears throat> and left the window in there. Just so it can support, support itself overnight. You can see I got the window sashes pulled out behind there. Uh, something I want to show you guys before we get into this thing anymore is uh, this, this vapor barrier here. So you have this vapor barrier, but then you also have this other plastic sheeting on the house on the outside, which creates, well, you guessed it, another vapor barrier. Well, with two vapor barriers, uh, this framing and everything in between it is caught in between essentially a sandwich bag. So that creates environments where this mold and mildew, fungus, bacteria can grow and really eventually get to where you don't want to rip out your wall and everything like that. So two vapor barriers, no bueno. And the way we're going to take care of that is put a house wrap on it and the house wrap is permeable and all, all throughout it it wicks moisture and allows the house to breathe so the vapor barrier on the inside of the house great that's what we want to see but not on the outside so we're gonna put that house wrap on there zip it up today i'll show you what it looks like okay all right so good news i got the source of the leak so let's say your water's coming down your roof right here and I'm gonna get my try to get my camera up in there so you can see that as best as possible. You see where that um, you see where that pitch changes right there next to the gutter? Hopefully you can see that. Well right there you can notice that there's no bead of caulk or anything. Well it was raining it was raining last night and so we're able to see we're able to see what it looks like when it rains. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing up here in this soffit. spider dude it'll be all right okay let's get you focused in here oh come on there we go all right see that wet spot way up there there we go so that's the shingle and then that little piece right there is sort of acts sort of like a drip edge but that's that aluminum piece that the gutter attaches to and you can notice all the other water damage right there as well so I can come down so that's the piece that the gutter attaches to there's the gutter there's the aluminum that it attaches to 
Now I notice that's where the largest part of the damage is on this wall. Let me attempt to get up in here again so you guys can see it. All right. And here we are in the leaking room. Make sure that spot ain't gonna get me. Okay, so there's the rest of it. And notice right in there where all that water is getting in at. And that, my friends, is the source of this leak. So the next step is to remove the plywood here. So what I've done right now, there we go, get this focused in. What I've done in the interim is while I'm working on this stuff, I got this stuff I got from the home center. You can go to Lowe's Home Depot or, you know, over at BioBase Solutions. Shout out to my friend Mac over there. Um, anyway, just go over and get you some mold remover and disinfectant. And what I did before I started in on the rest of this investigation is I went ahead and sprayed the whole inside of this because right now the two by fours on the inside are good and I'm not going to pull those out. So we're going to leave those in and that mold and disinfectant is going to allow, uh, to, uh, allow that mold to be killed and I'll go back in there and scrape it off. Um, it's, it's still drying right now. But it's important, guys, to do this so that you don't get the ants and termites, infestation pests, et cetera, et cetera. And so you don't get the extent of this damage that goes all the way over here. Okay, so it's lunchtime right now, and I've made the mess. All this, like all that wood just crumbled. I didn't put that through a chipper or anything. It's just stuff that has crumbled while well, i've been taking it off in between here and this is the real challenge is that this piece of plywood extends all the way out to this window right here so that should be one solid unit and the only piece of solid is right here so we're about ready to uh turn a knob on the wrench as i just learned uh, essentially when you get done what is it loosening something with a wrench you turn that little dial on it and you start tightening it back up. That's what it looks like to you guys. But right now, let's go to let's go somewhere to eat, get some food, some sustainment and nourishment in my body, so I can continue this endeavor of good things, taking care of Rod. But anyway, talk to you in a little bit. There they are. Termites everywhere. Termite guys up here <clears throat> yesterday, but at the same time, see where they've gone down through here. And they put termite treatment every so often. measurements
Okay, so it's getting uh, a little late out here, but uh, no sweat. The reason I'm staying out here is because I need to make sure that this gets done. Uh, I want to have their window in there by the time I leave today. And then next week I'll get the, uh, the siding and everything else on. But uh, put a jigsaw together. Got all the, you can even see the new plywood behind the, the wrap there. That's the house wrap. Now compare that against what was there before, which is pretty much this kind of plastic bag material right here. So you can't breathe through that. You can't uh, wick moisture. This stuff right here, you can see how it's got little squares in it and stuff all that is breathable um it'll wick moisture it'll, it'll make sure that none of that will build up we'll get back in there but what i've done now is uh you can see the little staples in it staple right there normally what what you would do during new house construction is this stuff is good for about 180 days which is about six months or so uh before you got to cover it up with new home construction you would normally use staples with the covers on the outside of them and i thought i had some around here but they have little circles on them and the staple goes in the middle of it or uh, they'll use also uh, the nails with the tabs on them as well the button button nails um so you can use those as well if it's going to be staying up there without having anything put on it immediately so we're, we're going to leave it like that and then uh come in here next week and, and put the siding back on we definitely want to get the window in today but i just want to show you what it looks like before we start getting in on it so from here also i'm going to be making a cut this way from the top corners and then cutting that square off of there and leave it a little bit hanging down that way the flash that'll roll right over the flashing and then i'll put some more flashing over top of uh, I'll, sh I'll show you here in a little bit but then you come down um, it'll wrap around the inside of the two by fours there do the same thing down here cut that away cut that away wrap it in cut it off on the inside and then that window will be ready to put in there okay so you can see where i made those cuts up top so I just came about two inches or so above that window and cut down same thing over here and cut down notice this little flap right there i'm not going to fasten that yet again that's going to go over the flashing what i want to focus on now is showing you guys down here kind of what that looks like so bear with me all right so what i do is i find the corner down in here so you can kind of see that plywood behind that sheeting and it comes out over this way what i'm going to do is find that corner that's about right there i'm just going to cut into there and come up with it and we're going to do the same thing over here about right there in like so cut down the middle right, get you any damn stapler I think I'm using 3 8 staples for this I don't like using a quarter because they fall out easily Wires don't know what to go to. All right, now I have to get the ladder to get the rest of those, but that's how you do that. And what I'll do is come up behind me there. You can see that excess, and I'm just going to trim it off right there behind the casing. You can see this square piece right here that's got the casing behind of it. So I'll do that, I'll just cut right back down in there. Now, all that's 
staples right there. So I'm going to wait till I get that last one up there before I finish it out. Generally, that's what it's going to look like when we're done. Looks good. Tip, use sharp blades. All right, so I'm about to put this window. Where are you at? This window and that hole. Unfortunately, there's not a lot that I can really talk and hold the, the phone at the same time right here, so I'm just going to leave it on, and uh, hopefully uh, you can get something from watching me just do it. But I'll be nailing around the nail flanges, putting it, putting it in the hole, nailing around the nail flanges and then uh, securing it in place um, and then eventually I have to put trim trim nails on the inside about two two and a half inch nails is what I'll be using for that and then uh, that'll wrap everything up until we can get the side now. guys it's time to turn in for the day you can see it's dark behind me but it's all for a good reason um that reason today was getting this window in y'all look how nice and tight that thing is buttoned up there i'll just walk you through this real quick it's got your flashing first you put your first piece on the bottom right here then you put your two sides on and you come up here to the top and put that one on finally. And then you see where I cut through the Tyvek tape or Tyvek wrap. Dad, come to the house wrap. I just like y'all. Y'all go ahead to forgive me. And then there's a drip lip uh, right above that window right there, that dark horizontal piece. Uh, but yeah, that took a few hours to do. But the reason I wanted to get it done is so that the owners here. Um, would have safety and security, uh, protection from the elements, everything the windows offer you. So I definitely couldn't leave them with a hole in that space. Or if I did, and we, it's going to be a longer project, I would put a piece of plywood over it, uh, or just something in general to really uh, make sure it got taken care of. But that's it for the day, y'all. And then next week, uh, on Monday, we'll get in here and take care of the rest of this siding that we have laying on the ground and it looks like a mess right now but I promise you it's not it's let me focus in here why ain't it focusing there she goes but anyway it's not really able to tell but that goes on the right side that goes across the top and there's some pieces over here to go on the left side but um, 
yeah, that's what we're working with. And uh, I'll see you guys on Monday and keep you updated. But God bless you. Have a good weekend, y'all.